This game is unlike any game you've played before and it will be a guaranteed memory for your group. There's a bit of prep work for this game, but it makes it so worth it. It also helps to know ahead of time how many people are going to be playing because you need a list of one condiment per person. Some of them should just be normal things that you'd want to put on toast. Butter, jelly, cream cheese, that sort of thing. Some of it should be mid-tier, like you wouldn't hate it, but you definitely wouldn't look forward to it. Like mustard, mayonnaise, sriracha. And some of it should be gross. The thought of having to potentially eat this condiment on toast is terrifying. Anchovies, oysters, olives. Okay, I know olives aren't actually that gross for a lot of people, but that's terrifying for me. Once you've got everything, put all of these condiments into a numbered list in a random order. Next, you'll need a bunch of ping pong balls, one per condiment. On each ball, write a different number. Each ping pong ball will correspond to one of the condiments, but the group will have no idea which one. Now that the prep work is done, let's talk gameplay. Have the group sit in a circle of chairs with a toaster placed in the middle. Take one of the ping pong balls at random and place a slice of bread into the toaster. As you press the knob down to start the toasting process, start to pass the ping pong ball around the circle. Around and around the ping pong ball goes, but when the toast pops, whoever is holding the ping pong ball has sealed their fate. That person is now committed to condiment number eight, which you can now reveal was Hershey's chocolate. Phew. Spread some chocolate on the slice of toast from the toaster and present it to the lucky winner who has to eat the entire slice. And they do have to eat the entire slice, which in this case isn't really a concern, but then you start again. Another piece of bread goes into the toaster and another ping pong ball gets passed around. The toaster pops, but this time you find out that the topping is sardines. Unlucky. The rush of thrill and terror that you feel each time the ping pong ball passes through your hands is indescribable. Your destiny is controlled by the 1200 watt box sitting in front of you, and during any one of these turns, it could choose you as the victim. Because I don't like these, but you might love them. What is that? Do you like olives? I knew it. Oh no! <laughs> Once you've had your toast, you just slide out of the circle and watch, and you keep the rounds going until every person has been chosen. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, check out the description.